to talk more on this day, reflecting and comparing what our current democracy is and what it was in time past is Ibrahim Ziki Rulai, Executive Director, Resource Center for Human Rights and Civic Education. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having what are your reflections about this day as the country commemorates um, it for the second time um, since it was declared by Buhari? I think it is, it is noble uh, in having a June 12th of uh, the Democracy Day in Nigeria. But the question is, was it just declaring on the day in the name of June 12th just to honor NPO Abiola, or if it be that uh, is set aside for the sober reflection to enable us to reflect on issues that uh, NPO Abiola and Group 12 stand for. So if that is the case, then we will now begin to look at what has the government done so far to realize the idea of uh, June 12th. So don't forget that mm -hmm. June 12th was for eradication of poverty, and the mantra of MPO Abiola was farewell to poverty. But unfortunately, about 27 years after the moment of June 12th, Nigeria has declared capital poverty of the world. That is clearly uh, opposite of what June 12 stands for. Then again, when we talk about housing for the poor, talking about uh, basic necessities of life, we could also ask what are the, the basic necessities of life? Uh, food, shelter, clothing, basic education, how are they affordable to our, our people today? It is still the same thing. So, if June 12th is for us to begin to work towards those ideas, fine, it is good. Yes, it is proper. But if it is just to politicize it, just to score a political point, I think it is uh, it's a, a big mistake that uh, that we are making. NKO lives a good life. He lived a life of honor. He lived a life of generosity. He was a philanthropist. He deserves every honor that can be bestowed on him. And that was the reason that was the reason why when the uh, results of that big web and the show was announced. The people across board went to the street for months and years take on the government. They never mind that it was a military regime, took them up to get had their arms. Many people lost their life. So in honorary MKO is like honorary those people. But how are you honoring them? These the things that the Jews were stand for are not realized. And we are not even near realizing them. They are, they are not even in the agenda of the present government to say that, yes, these are the things we, want, we are doing because we have recognized Jesus, we have recognized MTO, so I'm in struggle. Then we want to work to realize all those things that we stand for so that at least we are interested he can begin to smile to say, yes, I've been able to achieve something for my people. All right, um, Ibrahim, I, I, I must say thank you very much for your reflections on this day. We hope to have you in our news subsequently. Thank you so much. Thank you.